Hey friends, today I am going to explain about the organizational unit, uh, how we can create the organizational unit on the Google Admin Panel and what are the benefits for uh, organizational unit creation. So I have just logged on my admin panel of Google uh, Admin Console via my own account, admin account. So whenever you are making any changes on your uh, Google admin panel so you need to log in with admin account and with the uh, proper admin rights so I just logged on and I'm going to click on the directory and there is a tab organizational unit so I click on that and I can see there are the two organizational un units exist over here and this is the parent organizational unit and it should be always on the top of the admin panel and uh, now I need to create a new organizational unit by clicking on this yellow tab this is a plus sign and uh, it is just prompting a message create new organizational unit so I click over here and it is asking for the organizational unit name and uh, this is a new organizational unit name is sales underscore users uh, here you can specify the description for this organizational unit and it is asking parent organizational unit so whenever you are going to create a custom organizational unit it is always required to assign a parent organizational unit via clicking on this edit tab now here I can see there is a two organizational unit if you want to create organizational unit on stack ABC this is the parent root organizational unit or you want to create inside uh, existing organizational unit custom organizational unit that is finance underscore users if you will create this organizational unit inside finance users I mean sub organizational unit so you need to select this one but if you want to create it on the root of the domain admin so select this one now click on the done and create so once you have created organizational unit so you can see this is visible under stack abc here even if you want to create more organizational unit inside the cells so you can create it via clicking over here it is just saying stack abc sales users and then your organization unit will be visible so i am just mentioning a sales users underscore m u m mom create so once I create it so it is visible under sales users so you can create your organizational unit as per your requirement even if you want to move the organizational unit to some other organizational unit so you can click over here finance I selected a different organizational unit now this organizational unit exists over here even if you want to move it again from this location so you need to select the uh, sales underscore users now this organizational unit will come over uh, sales underscore users so now you can see so there is another tab that is edit and delete there is the two options if you want to rename the er existing organizational unit so you need to click on the edit here you can change the name like uh, I assign a new name so now you can see this organizational unit has changed with a new name even if you want to delete so you can click on the delete option so this organizational unit will be deleted in the short form of organizational unit is OU 
even you can say OU. Now, organization unit has been created with the uh, sales users, finance users, and this is the parent organizational unit. Now, come on the point what exactly services that can be uh, stopped or uh, on for the users inside a various organizational unit. So, if your user user is in sales user so you can assign a services or you can uh, disable the services uh, for this uh, for the users or for the member of this OU so for that we need to go on the apps google workspace google workspace once i click over here i can see there are the various services are showing over, over here and these are the core services of the Google workspace. So I just want to uh, put it off drive and docs for the members of the sales OU. So I will just select this services. Currently by default this services is available for everyone. So I will just click it off, turn off. So once I click on the turn off and uh, I will go on the organizational unit over here. I will see the users inside the cells, directory users, test 02. I will move this users inside uh, as under cells underscore users OU. So I will change the organizational unit via clicking this option. Now we can see this user is the part of sales organizational unit. Now I will log in with the test users. Uh, test users and uh, once I will click it will prompt for the password. So I selected this and uh, I will see the users how this user is if, if, if impacted via moving the users inside the sales uh, underscore users where we have applied the policy to don't use the uh, Google Drive. So I cannot see the Google Drive over here. Now I will power it on the Google uh, Drive services. So I will go on the Google Apps, I mean Google Workspace. It was earlier called Google Apps. Now we, we all are aware that Google Apps has been changed with the new name Google Workspace. So I will select Drive and Google, Drive and Docs and power it on via selecting sales users uh, OU and I will put it a check over here and I will turn it on. Now once I will Login with the test users and moving on the Google Workspace apps. I can see sheets, drives, everything is visible over here. Earlier it was not visible because we had turned it uh, off and users were unable to access the services. Now users can write, create and uh, upload the files, Google Sheets, Docs each and everything. So this is the best advantage of the organizational unit on the Google admin panel where you can assign or you can disable the ser Google services as per your uh, uh, organizational unit. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.